left. Got Johnston and Beersley up with him. Beersley away on the left. City with five defenders back. And here's John Barnes. This could be number four. It is. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another play of you on the channel. Now, today, we have got the 87-rated icon, John Barnes, to review, who actually... I think he's going to be pretty insane this year. In previous FIFAs, he's been all right. But this FIFA, he seems to have... Well, FC24, sorry. Not FIFA. It'll always be FIFA to me, guys. Sorry. Um, He's going for like 500k nearly. So he's, he's holding his value very well compared to previous FC24s and FIFAs. So let's see what he's going to be like in game and if you do need coins to go and buy players like this john barnes and check out our sponsor u 7 buycom and you just call josh97 to get yourself a cheeky six percent off at the checkout all the links you need are in the description below um but looking at john barnes um he's four star four star six foot and like i said he's going for about 500k there isn't he maybe just a bit less 480 so he's quite expensive card and he is holding his value. I've not played the game yet, so I don't know how good he actually is. And we are going to find out within this review. He can play left wing, left mid and cam. Um, so we've got a good array of positions there to play for. Probably maybe a cam in behind the striker in like a 4-2-3-1. Um, or a yeah, winger. I'm sure he'd be good, but I feel like more in the centre of the park is where he's going to be best. Looking at the card, the pace, 87 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, brilliant. Shooting category is absolutely stacked. Low is being 71, which is his pens. 85 tap position, 87 finishing, 84 shot power, 87 long shots, and 82 volleys. Passing as well, pretty damn good. Uh, low is being long pass of 76, but as a wide player, mm. I suppose you do need a bit more than like a striker, but as a wider player, it's not that crucial to have long pass, but the short pass of 84 is nice, crossing of 85 is nice. And the other stats in there are pretty nice as well. But when, then we get on to the dribbling. Now, 89 dribbling looks absolutely fantastic. And then you see the big standout there, which is the 75 ballots. Um, so potentially an engine card is going to be the one to go for here. Boost up his pace a bit more. Boost up the passing. And then boost up the agility and balance as much as possible. Agility 84 isn't too bad, but the 75 balance probably is going to be an issue with the card. 85 reactions, 90 ball control, 91 dribbling, and 88 composure there. He also has 72 head and accuracy with 70 jumping, stamina of 87, strength of 84, and 80 aggression. So he's quite aggressive, quite a strong uh, winger, as you know. If you if you know, you know. If you watched him, if you know about John Barnes, he was very strong and powerful back in his day. Um, finesse shot, incisive pass. He has technical plus, which I absolutely love on this game. I think it's really, really a good play style to have especially plus version he's got flair he's got travella and he's got quick step as well which is really nice he can uh he's got left wing uh winger plus plus and he's got the cam half winger uh, plus there so a couple of options for you but this looks like a really nice card and i can't wait to get into the review and see if he's any good this year i'm guessing from the price tag he is going to be very good and that's why he's holding his value because last the last years last couple of years at this stage of the game is probably only about 200k 250k so maybe he's absolutely cracked this year and that is why he's going for so many coins but without further ado let's get on into the review of john barnes here we go into match number one of the review very nice team vinicius jr that midfield this is going to be a tough one but let's see what barnes can do i'm going to play him as a left wing slash left mid in a 4-5-1 um maybe change that in game to a 4-2-3-1 as a left sided left mid and yeah we'll see how he goes in this one not put a chem style on him in this first game we may do in the next to see what an engine would do to him but first game here we go Nice run from Barnes. He is on side as well. Oh, imagine if that had gone in. <laughs> Rainbow flick, Molly. That would have been so good, but not a bad effort. Oh, the technical dribble. John Barnes just absolutely mugged off. Was that Saliba? Can't even remember who he had at centre back. It looks like Saliba to me. Absolutely mugged him off with a technical dribble, then blasts it into the back of the net for his first goal. Already on fire for us. The technical plus, honestly, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, 
He's here again. Technical dribble. Just runs through the defense. Little toe poker gets blocked. But honestly, this technical dribble with him seems very overpowered. Barnes is on the overlap. We do get the ball to him. Now, let's see his pace. He can't really get away from uh, Saliba there. Technical dribble, honest to God, it just confuses defenders so much there. Not a bad effort across goal uh, to Salah, but we couldn't get the goal. But we do still have the ball here. Look at it. They can't get near him. His close control is fantastic. Paired with the technical dribble, very nice. I mean, somehow. Let's have a crack. Oh, that would have been nice to finish it off, wouldn't it, the first half? But it's 1 1. Pretty difficult match so far, but Barnes with that technical dribble has been ruining his defence. He really has. I mean, he's not playing, but <laughs> we're getting calls anyway with Barnes. I don't know why he's not playing, because it was only 2-1, uh, but... We do a little dribble, we do some skills, but he was always going to score because he ain't playing. And there we go, he's finally gone. 3-1 was the score, two goals from John Barnes, one when he wasn't playing. Uh, but yeah, that first goal was really nice. The technical dribble, as I said, is absolutely fantastic. He just glides past Saliba for that first goal, didn't he? Really nice. Let's go on into another. So here we go, match number two and pretty decent team. Not as good as the first team, though. So hopefully we can score some more goals with Barnes and test out his ability. I might try him as a more central uh, position this game. He did play right out wide on the left mid roll in the last. Can we get the ball to him there? No, we can't. Um, so yeah, let's see how he does. Nice play. Again, the technical dribble just mugs them off and puts it in the back of the net yet again. That is John Barnes-esque. Oh, my God. I can't tell you enough how OP this technical dribble is with him. He just absolutely mugs defenders off. They just literally turn into robots and just glide straight past him. I'm sick of this. He's, he, all he's doing is having power shot pluses with um, Rashford and one of them flew in from miles out. Um... But yeah, technical dribble with this guy, honestly. Okay, here we go. Look, they just literally fall apart with a technical dribble. Yet again, taken on three or four players. Uh, fortunately, not the last one. Uh, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic dribbling. He feels so good on the ball with this technical plus, honestly. I don't even think he needs a boost. Boost that balance up. Here we go. Can we? Ah, uh, he hasn't got the finish in there. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Again from him. Absolutely brilliant. Mugging off the defences. Unfortunately, he didn't get the goal. But he basically made that one, didn't he? Absolutely fantastic. Honestly, God, these technical dribbles are just insane. The defence falls apart. Oh, lovely play. There we go. There's his goal. Very nice play from him. Really nice one-two. Run through. And he's finishing that all day, every day. Really nice goal. Oh, brilliant play. He's there again. And of course it is in with John Barnes. Absolutely fantastic. Hat-trick in this game. Played unbelievably well. Very nice run there. In the second half, he's changed it up. So he's, we're not playing the 4-5-1. We're playing a 4-2-3-1. So he's a bit more attackive. Getting in those positions. And it's shown because he scored two goals in this second half already. 
Again, John Barnes. Brilliant. We're going to whip it into the back post here. Very nice cross. To Ramzeda was pretty poor. Overhead kick from Gooty. <laughs> if only. If only. We get an offside there. Not sure what that was for because Taram wasn't offside. But there we go. Very unlucky. His crossing ability is decent though. Oh, just mugging off Wambasaka. Oh, honestly, God, the technical dribbles. He'd make defenders fall apart. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. So unlucky again. Just honestly, I'm having so much fun with this card. No wonder he's going for nearly 500k because he is absolutely top tier. He's here again. <laughs> you literally just glide past him. Oh, I couldn't do the chip shot though, but the technical dribbles are just so fun. The defenders literally just stand there and do nothing or just run past. And this is all this guy's been doing all game is just power shot pluses. Literally from wherever he gets the ball. Finesse. Oh, that was his weak foot, guys. That was his weak foot, but that was a poor effort. I seen him bringing his keeper out. Tried to, you know, loop it over him a bit, but unfortunately, not the goal we wanted. So we end up 5-2 in this one. Very nice win. And John Barnes absolutely battered him. Battered him. That technical dribble, I can't tell you. I can't emphasize enough how good it is. The defenders literally just run straight past or just completely fall apart and he just runs in and gets the finishes because his finishing is pretty damn good as well he's so good genuinely is so good i'm really made up with this card here we go into the final game of the review and he's got to get a pass for Varane and romero and he's got a john barnes as well guys I wonder if he packed him out of the icon pack. Because if you have, GGCU, because he is genuinely phenomenal. I got Lampard in mind. Check the video out and my reaction. But this one's going to be a tough one. And if he does score with John Barnes, I will put it in the video as well. Look at the strength and the aggression there. I know we didn't end up with it at the end, but geez, he was really, really trying, wasn't he? Oh, lovely from Barnes. The finish was not, though. The finish was shocking. Should have done better than that. Lovely play. Yet again from him. His wide play is fantastic. His crossing is really nice. Obviously, that is to Mo Salah there, but someone uh, bigger is going to be winning those headers, aren't they? It was a really nice cross, just not the person it went to. Oh, imagine finishing the game off with a band strike like that. Imagine. That would have been insane, wouldn't it? And we do finish up with a cheeky 1-0 victory. That was a really tough game, to be honest. Uh, Well-deserved win, though. We played really, really well as a team. Uh, Barnes didn't really get on the score sheet in the final game, but he was creating, he was making runs. He was still fantastic. In the second half, I played him as a cam. And I'd actually say he plays better as the winger. Um, cutting in with those uh, technical dribbles was absolutely fantastic he said he made destroy the two first two guys but in the last one not so much and then when i changed him to the cam spot in behind the striker in a 4-2-3-1 wasn't really cutting the mustard for me in that position but left wing left mid he was absolutely fantastic i guarantee this guy could play striker for you if you wanted to but let's get into the player summary of john barnes so here we are my overall thoughts and opinions of john barnes i loved this card it was four games five goals but a guy literally rage quit as soon as he saw my team for some reason so it's three games five goals he played very very well for me his passing ability his crossing ability fantastic the four star four star absolutely brilliant but the main standout for me is that 
technical dribble plus oh my god the amount of goals you see me just glide past four or five defenders and put it in the back of the net with him was just incredible he is honestly fantastic there obviously are some cons to the card i think because he does have technical dribble the balance doesn't feel that bad and because he, he's quite strong as well he still can hold his own in, in like one-on-one -on -one situations and it was when he was getting pushed off the ball he'd still get back up and try and get there so it is a little bit of a con but not massive con because of the technical plus i thought he was just an absolutely insane card and for that reason he's getting a 9.5 out of 10 for me genuinely crap card and no wonder he's gone for 500k maybe you managed to pack this man out of your icon pack ggs because you've packed an incredible player i do recommend playing him out wide as i've said and probably would stick an engine on him to boost that pace and dribbling up but you could go with a hunter i suppose to get the most out of his pace and shooting but he was genuinely fantastic you guys are going to really enjoy this card if you know how to use the technical dribble like i do you're going to have so much fun just gliding past players and put the ball at the back of the net with him because his finishing ability is cracked. He genuinely is insane. Absolutely loved him. Go and buy him. Go and try him. I'm sure you won't be disappointed because he is an absolute joke. Thank you all for watching today's play review. If you have enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA related content. Just done a Miroslav closer review. He was really good as well. Go and check him out. Uh, done a couple others as well. If you're a Liverpool fan, go and check out my Salah or Rush review. But yeah, John Barnes, absolutely fantastic. Go and buy him. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. See you later, guys.